Hey, what is up guys? And today I am here with Ubuntu 1404, which is the latest version of Ubuntu as of this recording. It has just been released about a week ago. And I must note that this is also an LTS release, meaning that it will be supported for 5 years. Whereas with regular releases, they are only supported for 9 months. And I consider these LTSs the actual, like, real releases and the regular ones more like dev versions that let you taste some of the new features and goodies. So anyways, yeah, this is an... LTS release it is geared more towards stability rather than bleeding edge, so it's not really the most feature packed release. In fact, it's I would I don't want to say boring, but it's more like in maintenance mode this for this release. It's more just it's polish some things, make it stable, that sort of thing. So anyways, we're still using Unity 7 rather than Unity 8 and Mirror because yeah, it's Mirror and Unity are definitely not ready for prime time as of right now. But some of the things that have gone through this release, mainly like I said, just more like polishing and touching up and stability. One thing you'll notice here is the locally integrated menus, which I really, really love. It puts the menus in the actual window border themselves, which I really, really, really love. And it does not interfere with moving the windows at all whatsoever. They've been really, really smart about this. And yeah, as you can see here, it does not interfere whatsoever. And I just really like this. It looks really, really clean because there's no menu shown right here. And yeah, I just really grown to love this ever since the like betas. That's how long I've been using it. By the way, this is the final stable version. I did wipe and reinstall the, the stable version so I can get the regular out of the box experience. So yeah, and a question to resize it. It goes back into the Unity panel here at the top. And you don't have any weirdness with windows and menus anymore like the way you did with previous releases. Also to note that there are now anti-alias corners, which is a really nice touch. I mean, most of you guys won't notice, but but if you're like on a higher like res display or something, you might have noticed that there was a little bit of jaggedness right here. Well, that is now gone, and so are the one by one or three by three pixels around the window borders, around the entire window. There is now no more borders. It is just the plain window right here with anti-alias edges, which makes it look really, really nice. Actually, it does. Had a little bit of polish, make it look a little bit classy, and it just overall feels a lot cleaner, especially with these locally integrated menus. One thing they've apparently also introduced within this release is the ability to live resize windows. I've never actually noticed it in the past, but it is really, really kind of janky. The live, the live window resizing, it's kind of laggy. I assume it's like that because it kind of hits the CPU a little bit. I noticed I had system monitor up while I was resizing windows and it really hits my CPU hard, especially with this one which is a dual core. Maybe you should probably GPU accelerate these live window resizing or something like that and it will probably resize a little bit better. Also for web apps, they now use the Ubuntu Touch browser because they have now included, let's see if I can pull it up here, the Ubuntu Touch browser which is the browser that's been using Ubuntu Touch and in Unity 8 because you know they're going more towards the convergence and having all their core apps and stuff so we're kind of starting to see a little bit of that in here not a whole lot since this is more towards stability like I said but yeah they've included the Unity 8 browser here it is pretty simple you swipe up with your mouse here and you get this URL bar at the top and you can switch your tabs here through your activities it looks really really nice and sexy by the way just like all the other Ubuntu Touch apps Oh, and you can also, you can get a preview session of the Ubuntu Touch environment, like the Unity 8 and all the apps, but you need an Intel graphics, and this is AMD, so, yeah, I can't, unfortunately, play around with it. But yeah, you can go grab a package for that and get all the oh, Unity 8 goodness if you want to have a play around with that. So anyway, going back to web apps, the web apps now use this browser rather than using Firefox, which makes a lot more sense. It, it just makes a lot more sense, and... You get notifications too. Let's open up Google Plus here. Oh, I haven't signed into Twitter yet. Oh, yeah, one thing about one thing about this, you can't copy and paste because I have my passwords in LastPass, so I can't like copy and paste my password. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer there. So I couldn't sign into Twitter. And yeah, with these web apps you also get notifications. It's really really nice. And there's no like browser tab windows or anything. It's just that actual app as if it were an individual app. Reminds me a little bit of iOS and Safari. Now one of the biggest disappointments in this release, this is pretty much the only downer and gripe I've had with this release so far, 
It's the software center. They they still kept this old, the clunky, the slow, buggy software center. It's just it's really disgusting, really. And it's a pain to like buy anything or even install anything because it would sometimes it can freeze or lock up on you, and it's just plain slow. And there's this weird issue right here. For example, Steam. Oh yeah, there's double entries for some as well. So see when I click Steam right here, the Steam launcher which I have installed. It's a free app. But now if I didn't have this installed, it would say buy rather than install. So for free proprietary apps, you gotta buy them, which is kind of weird. It might throw some new users off if they even make it this far because the software center is so slow and bloated and just overall clunky. Yeah, this is probably the biggest disappointment right here, and I'm hoping that they can get their new store in here soon. I know they have some sort of new store or something in multi touch with their click apps. And they're touchy apps, so hopefully that can make it within like the next release or something. Yeah, that's really about it for new features. Like I said, this wasn't really much of a feature packed release, more just like polishing things up, fixing things here and there, and just making it really, really stable and polished since this is gonna be supported for five years. But I must say this is probably the best release of Ubuntu yet. I mean it's super stable, super fast, super responsive, everything has just been rock solid, hunky dory, stable and fast and all that. Whereas with previous ones, the ones before that, they would have like random pop-up dialogues saying, oh, you have a crash or compass would crash. Yeah, I'm glad that they have all that stuff fixed. I have not seen a single crash dialogue box anywhere. Hell, I, even, I haven't even gotten any crashes or bugs or freezing or anything. And I'm using an AMD driver, so that's pretty damn impressive. And I see they've fixed a lot of the kinks that were in previous releases, especially the compass window manager, which will be deprecated come the next few releases since they're switching to Unity 8 and QT and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, overall this is the this is the best release ever. It's really fast, it's really stable, support for five years. I mean, if you're on Total 4, I totally recommend upgrading to this. I mean, yeah, it's freaking awesome and I can't wait for the next versions of Ubuntu 2, the ones with all the touch apps and Unity 8. That's gonna be really, really awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this rather brief review of Ubuntu 14.04. I mean there were a lot more stuff that came in here as well, especially a lot of under the hood stuff like updated packages, but it pretty much touched the surface on everything. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this release. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and all that stuff. That would be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.